Yeah, what is, he picked that up at the hospital. What does too autistic mean? It means I don't... I'm, re I'm really autistic, even though, I don't, even though I'm not too much. What does that have to do with calling 911 when you're, when you're unsafe? <laughs> Autism shouldn't get that. Tell me about what happened at the hospital. Well, what well, what was your experience? My experience was too babyish for teenagers. In what way? In, in a negative way. I mean, what, what made you, what were the babyish things that... Well, I don't, they made me have to be doing what's for younger kids. I'm older! Were you the oldest there? I was not, pro probably, probably not, but uh, I don't know. But, but you felt the oldest. Felt the oldest, yes. Yeah. And, you know what? We were all, you know what? Not everybody was a teenager there. Most of us was, but you see... Were most of the kids unsafe? Is that they, why they were there, do you think? Yeah, well, I don't... Yeah, probably, but I want... I couldn't earn any checks at the hospital at home, on the home program either because my stupid mother wouldn't allow it! Say more about that. I don't I understand what you just said. I couldn't earn any checks while I was at the hospital, even though I wasn't aggressive the whole time at, or at all. I thought that you were earning checks sometimes. I thought you were... No, he, he means... When he's in the hospital, oh, they have their checks are checks at home. Right. You should have given them to me. Oh, I'm Aaron, the... Aaron, that's not up to your mom. It's up to me. You didn't say anything. Well, we never it talked was, about it. wasn't school. We never talked about that, did we? No, what you would should happen? have. We... Well, if you wanted to talk about it now, is that a way to do it? You should have. Okay. Or you could say, could we talk about it now, please? Oh, now, please. Yes. Okay, so you're exactly right. Your hospitalization came up so quickly. Next thing I know, your parents sent me an email. Then your mom called and said he might be going in this week. And then next thing we know, a couple of days later, you went in. That was very surprising. Yeah. There was no time for us to figure out. I should have been on vacation. All of, did you want me to tell you what happened about your checks? Because that's yeah, what we were talking yes, about. You're going. Okay. Usually, when a kid is at the hospital or they go away to sleepaway camp, or they go away on vacation that's not with their parents. Usually, since they're not home earning the checks, we don't give the checks. I say usually, but we never had a chance to talk about it. Now, why do you think you should earn checks because on days, but, but you weren't home, honey. You, you weren't home with your mom not to be unsafe. That's what you earn your checks. I didn't get unsafe at all. But I, because you were in the hospital. How could you be unsafe with her if you were somewhere else? Well, I didn't hurt anyone else. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I see what you're saying. You're saying you were also safe at the hospital, and you'd like to get your checks from being safe at the hospital. Yes. I think I'm willing to have that conversation. Yeah. I actually am. Good. Betsy, did they say that we couldn't give him his checks? Um, they had their own system. But did they say that we couldn't give him our checks, like a double they system? They did not. Okay. They didn't say anything either way. No. Nope. Okay. Guess what? What? If you were not aggressive, how many days was he in the hospital? For more than 14. Was it like 16 or 17? 17 days. Although there was one time you were not aggressive, but you he, he started, but he stopped himself. Okay. You get 17 checks? Cool. Uh, wait a minute. Who's a goddess? I'm a goddess. <laughs> just let's be clear about who's doing good things for you. All right, I'm just kidding. You know how we we joke around about that, right? All right, you're right. I'm not you, joking. You're not. You're not. A, you haven't been aggressive. You, those were the criteria for our was for our program. So you do go with those checks. Now let's talk about the future hospital because you say don't ever put me there again and whatever. Yeah. Darling, if we, if you are so unsafe that we can't and you can't control your own behavior and we can't help you, what are, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Where can you be where it is safe? Hopefully, hopefully if I could, if I could only be in New York City and just live here without going to school. Without going to school? Yeah. Good luck on that. Oh, yeah. Do you know it's a law that parents have to send their kids? It's a law that at your age, yeah, in our state, we have to send you to the, school? They don't go with their parents either way, whether they're younger or older. Erin, if you are unsafe or aggressive or hurtful in the home and you can't be there, where should you be? Where could you be? 
Because you're saying, don't put me back in the hospital, but I'm trying to think don't of... Don't put me back anywhere away from my parents. I know, honey, but sometimes you're too unsafe to be with your parents, and mm. that's why. So I'm just letting you know, I don't want you to be outside of your home. I should have been in New York City. But if you're unsafe, your mom and dad know what the program is. Mm -hmm. Ivy Mount has their program. Scott has his. We all are doing what we need to do. And we're trying to help you, okay? Yeah, well, then. Nothing's helping me but getting what I want only. I must need an emergency at once. Is there anything else you wanted to say about the hospital and your experience there? Mm -mm. Was anything helpful? No. Did you got you had therapy, right? Yeah, I got a lot of therapy. Did you like any of the therapies? Tell me what you did like. I, uh, there's not a lot. What about the food? Sort of. Yeah, because I didn't hear that you were upset about that, so I thought maybe that was okay with you. Sort of okay. I don't know how much okay it could be. I don't know how good it was, but it was a little bit, not a whole lot. Okay. What else did you want to talk about? You said something about your brother before. Yeah, I was going to physically change him. Physically change him? Which I can't. None of us can. Oh, I, I, that, was, that was my opinion, too. Aw, wouldn't that be great if an opinion could be that strong? <laughs> what did you want to change him to? I want him to change him so he can qualify for what I'm in for. Be more specific. I don't know what... Well, I really think we should switch our... Uh, switch brains. Like, so what would that mean? He would have Aaron's brain and you would have his? But, our, but, he, but my brain has switched to 17 years old and, he, and mine has switched for him to be 13. You know, I don't, uh, if we have any magic, magic uh, brain switch. Why would you want his brain and why do you want him to have yours? So I can get back to what I used to do. He's able for public school at all times. But he's not able to take a bus door to door. Does that, it all has to do with the bus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Does it have to do with, why would you want Justin's brain? Uh, he's... Unqualified for special ed. If he's not going to qualify until... Uh, uh, I'm the oldest. He's younger than me. Yeah. He shouldn't be... He shouldn't be younger than me and not qualified for special ed. Betsy, can you give me some insight on this? Yeah. Um, two things. One, Aaron doesn't like when I go pick Justin up from the bus, even though... Oh, and that's, and that's what home. it is. He wants, he wants to be... He wants you to stay with him. Right, even though I'm back before Aaron's bus comes. Right. Well, no, the, very rarely, if your bus is early or his is late, sometimes it does happen that you have well, to wait for I want to stop. Can somebody just pick my brother up for you? And the other thing was, remember, Aaron, when we were um, talking in the hospital, you told me you wanted to switch brains? Yeah. But it wasn't about the bus. Yeah. What was it? What's that? I wanted to switch. His brain turned 17 for me, and mine turned 13 for him. That's not what you said. What? Uh, you have to remember it! What you had said was that you wanted to switch brains so that you would have a normal brain? Yeah. What did you mean by that? Means that means that he has a... He has a... He's, he's extra high functioned. <laughs> You have to answer me what I mean by that. You remember, you answer. <sighs> what does normal brain mean to you? Means nothing bad. And do you think you have a normal brain? No. Do you think I have a normal brain? Yes. And your brother? Yes. And mom? Yeah. And dad? Yeah. Who else has an abnormal brain that you know? Well, people with more autism than me. And what about some of the? How about how about some of the guys at the hospital? Uh. Do they have a, in your opinion, a normal or abnormal brain? As far as comes as abnormal. Okay, all right. And you want a normal brain? Yes. Can you change that? I wish I could. That's so that's so heartbreaking for me to hear you say that. I wish I could. I wish I could make your brain different. Oh. Because then you'd feel better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. You know what we try to do though? What I have been trying to do for about how many years have Four. we been? Four years. What I have been trying to do is, given the brain you do have, yeah, I've been trying to help you live with your brain. Yeah, I have, I have taste sensitivity. 
I know. Well, you've got a lot of different things. You have some sensory sensitivities. You have some amazing things about your brain well, that I would I never want to change. Well, is there any bad food that tastes bad, looks bad, and tastes bad? I have a sensitivity to that. So we're talking about you were talking about your abnormal brain, and I'm putting that in well, air quotes I can't because eat what they serve. You think people oh. with autism or Aspergers have abnormal brains, and that's hard, isn't it? No, my brother has neither. It's too stupid. Are you a little envious of him? Yeah. I can imagine. I should have been like him because I'm older. Maybe I should have had, maybe I should have had no brother or sister. Well, I know how your feelings about that. <laughs> you know what? I should have had neither. No siblings. So, Aaron, since I can't do anything magical and make your brain be different, and since I can't switch it with your brother, even though I know that's your desire... Mm -hmm. Since I have to live with my brain and you have to live with your brain, can we still try to work together to figure out how to help you live with your brain and just, just feel better and do better? Right. What was the question? Can we, can, we, can we try to figure out how to live, live, help you to live better and do better with your brain? Yeah, Scott's yeah. still busy and taking care of his grandmother. Is that something you want to talk about next? We're finished with the hospital? Oh, I don't know. Yes or no? How much time yes. do you have left? Yes, I need a How much time? Five minutes. Okay. So you want to talk about Scott and a new mentor, and I think that's a good idea yeah. because you brought it up last time, and we didn't have time. Yeah. You're right. I agree. But so, what are your feelings about it? My feelings is I needed a mentor who's more available, who is the way I want him to be, and the way I want him to have easy pass on his automobile. Okay. And I want him to have every interest that I have. I'll go with the first criteria. <laughs> you remember what the first thing you said what was? was? I want a new person who's available to me. <laughs> yeah. That I agree with. All the other stuff who will do what I want him to do and all the other stuff you just said, can't quite agree to. Yeah, but I really want to be into... So guess what? It's... I told your mother to start looking for other people. Yeah, but as long as he's... And we're starting to do that. We're starting to look around and see... If there are other mentors or people that want jobs that could work with you, we've gotten some resumes. They weren't good enough for you, Aaron. Yeah. I read the resumes. Mom sent them to me. Right, right, Betsy. Mm -hmm. They just weren't good enough for you. We want someone really good. So we're gonna. We rather wait and find someone good than rush it. So in the meantime, I'm hoping. Please, please, please try to be as patient as you can while yeah. we get a new person. Yeah, and I don't have a mentor right now anymore because Scott's not available. E ever. Mm -hmm. Probably he won't be able to be available. I've been missing work. Do you do you have any news on that? I mean, he's worked for four months. He doesn't come Mondays anymore. Right. And he misses a lot. Oh, Thursdays. Okay, and what we just decided was um, 